everybody, it's Eve Spade with Collective Chickadee, and I'm here today just to show you what I've been playing with. As some of you know, I went up to North Dakota to take care of my mama. She had cataract surgery in both her eyes, and um, everything went great. I just felt immense guilt when I had to leave her, but I had to get home. There is just so much I needed to do, the yard work and... Of course, we had company coming in. I had a niece and nephew and a boyfriend. Well, not my boyfriend. My niece's boyfriend came out here to visit. And then we also had another house guest who has a goat tag in this area. And so um, I've been quite busy and just getting my house kind of back in order, being gone for so long. While I was up at my mom's house, I did not have really much to do. I didn't bring any of my supplies, so I went to a thrift store and picked up a book for 99 cents and just started painting. And these are what I came up with. I just tore the pages and thought I could easily add these into journals. Just kind of fun and simple. And it did keep me busy while I was in Kandu, North Dakota. Just wanted to share those with you. And then since I've been back, I got to play in the studio a little bit. And um, using the same book pages, I made these little... Yeah, I'm not sure what I should call it. It's kind of like a specimen card, but it's on the side, so maybe, or suspended specimen card, or, yeah, I'm not sure what we should call it. I just thought it would be really beautiful when you're flipping through your journal and you came across this. And let me grab a one of my journals over here and show you. So this would get stitched in just like all the other pages. You could easily attach this little tail to another page and then that way it can be stitched in. You can just do the edges on the side so this can be a little tuck spot. Or you could also just maybe glue it in like this and it would be a flip out. But I think I originally just thought it would be another page that I would just stitch into my journal. And lots of decorating can be taking place here. Let me grab another one. So here's one that I haven't decorated. And you could put anything in this little space. And I have a little cellophane there, if you can see that. I used this cake collar comes in this box and it's just this nice cellophane in a big fat roll. I'll never use it all, I'm sure. But that is what I put inside here. Should we make one? Yeah, let's just go ahead and make one. All I do is I grab one of my pages from the book and you can use decorative paper, you can use your digital downloads and I just do a little crease. Let's see, this page is about nine inches and I went at five and a half. And I'll also do an inch, one less than an inch. I get my circle punch. It looks like this one is two and a half. 
just kind of make it in the center. I'm just going to eyeball it. And since this is just demonstration purposes, I am not going to ink up the edges, but normally I would ink up those edges. And I'm just going to use some wet glue here. And just glue down the one half of it, right where that crease is. And from here, you can choose whatever you want to put on the, for the decoration here. We could do a stamp. We could, what do I have here? A little bug, a mushroom, that's cute. I think it would be really cute to stitch the edges here. I think what I'll do, I like this mushroom here, I think I'm going to trace around this mushroom and cut it out so I can glue it on the back side and that way it will be a space for writing. That way, if I wanted to, I can journal on that spot. Let's go ahead and... Alright, but isn't that super cute to put on one of your journals. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? But the possibilities are endless. I don't know. Yeah, super cute, super easy. Adds a nice little element of surprise in your journal. And the ideas are endless. Um, like I said, we can definitely do some stitching. We could do some stenciling on these pages. Yeah, it's up to you. So have fun with those. And then from there, I 
did just a little see-through pocket in one of Tracy Fox digital downloads, which I love the sound of it, and then I think it'd be kind of fun that you can see see the other page on the other side. And I just used an oval die cut there. And I did the same thing with this book page and used the stamp on tracing paper. Super cute. And then I did a tag with the tracing paper on the side. And here I used um, a flower die cut on the page and on the inside. So I have two pieces here and on the inside I just used baking paper and I used the unbleached baking paper in here. As you can hear, it's got this neat crinkly sound. And I did a couple more. Here's one with tracing paper. So when you turn the pages, you can see through it. And one more where I used that acetate from the baker's. And it's just, I don't know if you can see the shiny part there. There's a the shiny part. Just a see-through window. And I guess I came up with this idea because I was thinking of when we were little, we used to do those stained glass projects in art. And that is why I decided to use that little baking paper. And the great thing about punching or using your die cut on book pages is that you're going to have all these offsets that you can use in other projects. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, so from there, my idea jumped to this page. Here I ran this decorative paper with my die cut. Let's see what die cut I have here. Oopsie. So I use a Spellbinders die cut and I just ran it halfway through and so it only cut half of that and so I was able to fold this part over. Isn't that really pretty? And with this, gosh, um, you can leave it just as is. I did use a bossing folder, it says postcard. It kind of didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so I will have to try it again. But you can leave it like this, or you can just use the one step smaller of that die cut and put an image here. Here is one of the book pages that I used, which I think looks kind of neat. And then, of course, you can add more layers to it if you like. And that is endless as well. Here is just tea dyed paper cut in an oval. So yeah, that is kind of fun. And then I got that, um, I guess it's the baking paper. And I did a double layer of it because I wanted that crinkly noise. And I did the same thing. So when I cut the die cut halfway, that first layer, I folded it on this side and glued it with a glue stick. And then on this side, I folded it this way. And I think stitching will definitely take place on this one. But how pretty is that? You can... So when you're turning your page, 
in your journal, this is what you're going to see. And gosh, we could once again use any of these offsets if we want to. Should I make this? You know what? Let's go ahead and do a demo on how I did this. Let me go grab that machine. Alright, I am just going to put my die cut on this piece of decorative paper here. And I am going to use a little bit of washi tape and put right on the outer side of the center spot. Let's see, I should grab one more piece of paper. Let's see, I just want to make sure that this is kind of straight. Now I'm not going to run this all the way through the die cutting machine, I'm just only going to go halfway. And I'm just going to kind of guess where that is. We just need to do the outside edges here. And there you have it. Isn't that pretty? And like I said, you can decorate this any way. You can stitch it up and down. You can add an image or you can just do a collage. It's just super cute and it will be a fun little element of surprise when you're turning your page in your journal and this is what you come up with. Okay, so I think that is my sharing for the day. I hope you learned something new or I hope I inspired you to try one of these out. i um, just really happy to be back in my studio and being with you guys and doing re uh, recording these videos. And um, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask and I will get back to you. And if there's other requests that you would like, uh, give me a shout. I would love to hear from you. And um, I guess until next time, this is it. So warmest of wishes. Bye.